Have a Dante, how early before tip did you find out that you were going to start for Clay? And do you have to like change your approach at all? You know, and what what is that like to start on the fly? Um, I heard his name introduced just like you guys, and that's what I thought was going on. Um, and I didn't see him on the bench, and they came up to me right afterwards and told me, "Hey, you're starting." Uh, so obviously, it's a little you know, wrenched and thrown in your routine. But um, it's always great to start, obviously. Um, but I'm just so I'm always ready to play. Uh, ha- you know, what? I'll come back to me. I'm sorry. What does it do for you guys to have Andrew Wiggins and Andre Iguodala just back in the fold? I mean, it's huge. Um, defensively, I think, you know, it allows us to, you know, switch a lot, and guard different positions. Um, and also just, you know, that veteran leadership. Um, when you have those voices behind you, it's easier to pressure the ball. It's easier to kind of navigate um, when you can't see much behind you, uh, speaking for myself on the ball, um, because you, they're, you know, they're so polished in communication, and it's huge for us. So to have them on the defensive end is big. And then offensively, um, Andre is, you know, he's a pro's pro. Just move the ball, get guys shots, and knows um, who's hot, who's not. Um, so I'm looking forward to playing with him more. Dante, what did you see, like, in that second half? Came back, Wiggs hit a three, tied it up. But then after that, you guys just couldn't seem to match, like, the same intensity you had in the first half. Yeah, I think they just competed harder than us tonight in the second half. Um, you know, their energy was higher. Um, they were kind of playing more together. Um, but ultimately, you know, they just they stuck it to us in that second half. I think the physicality, the energy, um, and they just competed harder in the second half. That's all it was. Just one follow-up question to that. Is, do you think there's a level of fatigue that the team is feeling collectively from just having so many guys out till this point? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Just the wear and tear of the season. You, guys that, you know, minutes are, you know, maybe in the the low 20s or in the mid 30s. Um, we had a game that went into double overtime, a game over every other day. And, you know, it's that balance of, you know, trying to practice and trying to, you know, keep developing and also taking care of your body. So, um you know, it's a grind, but I think the biggest thing and the best thing to look forward to is, you know, we got guys coming back. And I think the more games, the more minutes they get under their belt, it allows everybody to kind of settle in. And, you know, we're, I think we're, we're going in the right direction, but we definitely have a long way to go. And I think we'll settle in as those guys come back. Uh, Coach Braxton over there said uh, his favorite part of the game is watching you drain some threes in the second half. Uh, how cool is it to have him here and just, you know, have support from fans like him? Absolutely. It's amazing. Um, I did not know that was your favorite part of the game. I need to talk to you about more some more ATOs because um, I would love to shoot more. Uh, no, but it's it's awesome. It's amazing. Um, and, you know, as, as, you know, happy as he is to be here, we're as, as happy and blessed to have him with us. Um, and I think it was a great experience. All right. Is that it? Cool. Thanks. Come on. Wait, uh, shortly.